Hi guys, my name's Steve and in this video I'm going to show you how to do stop motion. A lot of you saw my video on the Saturn V rocket which is right behind me and I did quite a long 5 minute video and it was a time lapse stop motion of the build of the Saturn V. So I'm going to show you how I did a stop motion and I'm going to use as an example today this rover that I built, a testing rover. So a very cool little rover, uh, didn't take me very long to build but I actually used a program called iMotion HD and I used this on the iPad. You can download it from the App Store and there's a few different modes that you can choose when you set up a new project. For this particular example I used manual mode which is basically where you just choose when you want to take the photo you can rotate the model a little bit take another photo rotate it a bit more take another photo you can choose what you want to do and it's all manual uh, for the Saturn V rocket I did time-lapse which is just like a video that you can change the increment of when the camera takes a photo so you can change it to once every second one every 10 seconds once a minute even once every 24 hours if you really want to with the stop motion that I did with the Saturn V rocket I took a uh, time-lapse and I did it for every 10 seconds and I did that over a period of three and a half hours that's how long roughly it took me to build the rocket and then condensed down that time-lapse uh, stop motion into about a five minute video. And they're really good for recording things like storms coming over, plants growing. You'll see in David Attenborough documentaries, they use stop motion for seasonal changes and things like that, tides coming in and going out. So there's fantastic things that you can use for time-lapse. Um, in schools, we've used it for art projects, we've even used it for maths. Uh, high school maths, they might be doing uh, an equation and they write out each step of the equation and then they take a stop motion. I also saw a student do an Antarctica clay model build. He's talking about global warming and he would take a little bit of the Antarctica clay away each at a time and you can see that the Antarctica was shrinking over time. So there's lots of really cool applications that you can use stop motions for and then you can include them in your class projects. iMotion is very easy to use. Once again, when you start up a new project, you can choose whether you want a time lapse or a manual mode. For this particular project, I'm choosing manual mode, and then you just press start. Um, it'll activate the camera, and you need to set up the iPad in a fixed position, so you don't want to be holding it because it will be very shaky. You want to try and keep the angle and perspective as consistent as possible. So you set it up on a desk or on a chair or something. Then you press capture and then you rotate the model a bit more, press capture again and you do this every time you add in a Lego piece or every time you make a change to your project. So for this particular model, every time I added a piece of my Lego Rover, I took a screen capture and then I rotated a little bit and then I did another screen capture, rotated a bit more, did another screen capture until I finished the video. And the results are quite good. You can actually also change the frame rate. So once you've finished doing your project, you can go into the frame rate. There's a little thing at the bottom of the screen there that says FPS, which stands for frames per second. And you can choose how many frames pass by every second. Standard Hollywood frames are at 24 frames per second. Uh, standard claymation films, you might have seen like Chicken Run and I used to watch a program called Gumby when I was a kid. Gumby! These can actually be set from anywhere between 15 to 30 frames per second. Anything less than about 15 frames per second and you start to see slightly stunted video. Here is what the finished product looked like at the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a very, very easy program to use. I highly recommend experimenting with it and maybe try both the project in time-lapse and maybe try one also in manual mode. I like both modes for different things. Have a great day and we'll talk soon. Cheers. Stay tuned for our next episode where we will be making green screens and I will be building an Imperial shuttle out of Lego on a landing pad on Endor from Star Wars and we'll be superimposing this in front of a green screen and putting a background in and we'll be talking about how to make green screens for your classroom. It'll be a lot of fun. Thanks for staying to the end guys. Here's a very quick stop motion of a pterodactyl from the new Lego Ideas dinosaur fossil set. 
I absolutely love this set and I put it below my Jurassic Park display set in my Lego museum. So hope you like it, hope you like the photos too. Very, very cool set. If you get a chance, you can get them from the Lego stores at the moment and uh, it looks absolutely unbelievable in real life. Thanks guys, bye bye.